Good morning, fellow citizens. Hey, I bought myself a new toy. Uh, this is a Grizzly Golf 0769er combination uh, melon machine and lathe. It's a little bitty feller, and it's pretty neat. It does it does everything that you would expect a lathe and milling machine combo this size to do, including including it chatters and it's got a lot of chatter in it. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is make a solid tool post mount instead of the compound. Uh, I am going to make it to where the compound can be reattached quickly, but I just need something just a little bit more rigid. Uh, I just, for most of what I do, I don't need a compound on there, so I'm going to make me a solid tool post rest. So here we've got a three inch piece, this is 250 wall square tubing, and I've taken some half inch plate and cut and made plugs. This needs to end up being uh, an inch and a half tall once it's all said and done. So I'm going to get this other plate welded in here, get everything welded up good, or as good as I can. And uh, then we'll take it over and start facing it off and cleaning it up on the lathe. I think I'll just use the lathe for the whole shooting match here. And uh, there you have it. Not bad for an amateur. Okay, so we got her welded up. And I've got my little old dial indicator on here. And just so happens that the uh, the stud that the tool post goes on, or tool rest, tool holder goes on, is 10 millimeters, and I guess this thing here is too. So this all fits together pretty neat and uh, makes it really easy to run your dial indicator up here. So I'm indicating off the side of this, and I'm, I have no good surface on this thing. But on this side, I'm... Now let's set her to some convenient number like zero. So from end to end, I'm about nine thousandths off. Hey, that's close enough for the girls we go with. On this side, it's a little worse. Eh, it's not bad. About four or five thousandths there. Not bad at all. Now, when I fire, this thing is just barely caught in the chuck. So when I fire this up, I'm going to go stand plumb in Oregon County uh, so that if this comes out of here, it won't decapitate me or hit me somewhere important. So I am going to face this off, and I may not even face it completely. I may just get the high spots knocked down good enough that I can fully seat it in my chuck then I'll flip it over and then face the other side. Okay, we're running at 300 RPM and uh, about all I can get is a 5,000 depth of cut. So this is probably going to be my last pass before I flip it. Here's my power feed.
not a terrible surface finish, but good enough for the girls we go with. Well, there's the second side faced off. Didn't come out too bad. I've got some little voids in there, but you know what? I am not a good machinist, nor am I a good welder, so I'm not going to worry about it. So there's the first side I did. There's the second side I did. Now I'm going to flip. I'm going to deburr this thing, uh, knock some corners off of it, and uh, I'll flip her over, and uh, we'll find the center on this point, or on this side here, and uh, we'll try to get it centered up. And I am not a machinist, but I did watch Adam Booth one time. Well, I've be dipped. My wag system on that was pretty close to the center. I'm there's where I had it in the chuck to begin with, and boy, that's that's not bad for wag system. I'm gonna go center punch this. I'll be right back. I got about four thousandths run out, close enough. Okay, I drilled a 13 30 tooths hole all the way through this thing. And I've got to take this back out and I've got a little piece I got to weld onto here that's this dog knot right here. So what I've done is I'm gonna mark the two jaws that I'm gonna take loose where I can get this back in the chuck and, this, and I'm also going to mark the two sides that I'm taking loose. That way I get this thing back in the chuck the same way I took it out. And I get the same screws or the same jaws back to tighten that I took loosed. And that should get us back pretty close to where we came from. So I just got a warning on the camera that I am just about out of batteries. So we will continue this on a different day with a different battery or a different something because I'm too lazy to edit videos. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Y'all drive safe, watch for deer.